Sup, boys? Hey guys, what's up? Good to see you all again. My name's Frank Garcia, and today we're gonna to be talking about the mentality behind a successful streamer, or really just any content creator in general. And if you guys enjoy this video or any other video I'm making, feel free to you know comment down below, like the video, it helps a lot, or just check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash franklygaming. Thanks a lot, guys. So before I get started, I just wanted to let you guys know as well that I'm by no means a giant streamer or a giant person on YouTube yet, but I have found some success in my short few three months here already, and I think my learnings and just kind of watching other bigger stars as well can kind of rub off on you guys at least a little bit, and I wanted to share what I think the strong mentality points that really make someone successful on platforms like these. So first up, I think one of the most important things for new creators or just old creators in general is an utter belief in oneself. If you're gonna be making videos constantly or doing streaming day to day and trying to entertain people and create awesome, exciting content they wanna watch, you're gonna have to at some point truly believe in yourself and your abilities to not only create awesome content, but interesting content that can bring new viewers in. If you're not too sure of yourself or the content you're creating, it's gonna show through to your audience and they're gonna see through that and kind of see the non-confidence that you have going in. A truly successful streamer or content creator is going to know what they want and believe they can get there. Even if you're not there now, someone who's going to be successful is going to believe they can get there through improvements in things like editing, comedy, and just all around entertainment that viewers will come to know and love. So if you are starting out and you're new to the game, honestly, believe in yourself. It's gonna be hard from the beginning, especially if you don't know all of the special ins and outs of something like Premiere Pro and making videos or maybe making jokes in front of people live. But if you work on those things and you genuinely believe in yourself as you're going, you will see improvements and you will see an audience start to back behind you and push you up further and further. Even in my own content, I've seen such a dramatic improvement from even three months ago when I first started in terms of how I act on camera, how easy it is to look, you know, just look into the camera, talk to people, create cool editing tricks, and just entertain people live on stream. And that's all because I truly, genuinely believe that I can get big and can get better. And it's because of that that I'm able to put in the work that is required to actually get better. Keep in mind though, another successful mindset that these bigger people on all these platforms has is they're not afraid to change when they find out that they are wrong. While it's important to believe in yourself and your ideals and what you wanna do with your content, if you see the metrics and it's just not falling through and people aren't receptive to what you're doing, be willing to change and never go outside the realm of who you really are, but kind of meld your content to what the audience really does want to see. Because at the end of the day, while it's your channels and your streams and you get to do things that you love and are passionate about, it's not about you. It's about the viewer and what they want to see and what they want to kind of, you know, be entertained by from day to day. Because honestly, if you're doing something that no one else wants to see, all of this isn't going to matter. You've got to take your passions and what you want to do and turn that into something that others want to see as well. And that's one of the most strong mindsets or changes you're going to have to have to become successful on platforms like this. It's all about the audience. Another sort of mental shift you might have to take if you start to grow on streaming or on YouTube, for example, is one, having tough skin, and two, having the ability to bounce back quickly. Because while I'm sure you guys have seen trolls in the YouTube comment sections and the Twitch live chats, it's a totally different beast when the person they're attacking is you, and you just put in hours and hours of work into something you were passionate about and now everyone's just shitting on it, right? You need to have tough skin and you need to be able to bounce back quickly when you have a bad day. If someone calls you out and says your work is trash, it's natural to feel bad and sad about that. 
but you need to be able to pick yourself up quickly and go back to working hard, back to getting better, and when you can, take that criticism to heart and improve your content. That way, as you keep growing and as you keep getting better, more and more people will be there to support you and not to rebel against you. Another thing you'll have to constantly bounce back from is just failure over and over again. For example, when I'm live streaming, there'll be days where I'll get around 20 viewers for most of the stream and it'll be so fun and everyone will be there. And then the next day, I'll be at eight viewers just sitting there feeling like I'm doing something wrong. And the same happens for YouTube as well. Sometimes I'll post new videos and get close to a thousand views with tons of likes. And other times it'll seem like no one really vibed with what I was trying to say. But what it all comes down to is you need to be able to identify where you've made mistakes, what people want and capitalize on those. But you also need to realize that sometimes failure is inevitable, especially when you're really putting yourself out there and all your creative ideas so constantly day by day. To become a successful content creator, you need to be willing to put yourself out there day by day. No matter how many times you fail, you gotta pick yourself back up every time and just improve and improve on your content until one day all of that work pays off. And speaking of work, another mental change you're gonna have to make if you wanna be successful on platforms like Twitch and YouTube is you're gonna have to work and work and work. Especially if you're already working another job or just very busy doing something else, there are going to be so many days where you come home from work or school tired, exhausted, and just the last thing you want to do is go make a video or go stream or go work on networking or something to grow your brand. But part of being a successful content creator is pushing past that feeling and just grinding and working through all of those kind of nasty feelings that make you want to go relax and instead just putting in the work to get great. And on top of that, there are a lot of sacrifices you might have to make to become successful. For example, I barely go out on the weekends now. A lot of times if friends want to go out, I just deny them because I literally, that's my only time to get my YouTube video done or that's, I need to do my stream tonight because I, you know, that's the promise and commitment I've made. You're sometimes for success, you have to sacrifice other things. But if you truly want to become a bigger creator on these platforms with an actual presence and meaningful effect on people, sometimes you just have to sacrifice things like leisure and hanging out with friends all the time. And instead you have to use those moments to just work so hard to get what you want. And for the last thing I kind of wanted to mention and talk with you guys about that I think you need mentally to be successful on platforms like this is you need to not be afraid to make what you genuinely want to make, whether that be controversial or kind of goes against the grain. Because at the end of the day, people are going to gravitate towards genuine content that where they can tell that people are expressing their true feelings and true thoughts. That way, if they, tr if they vibe with you, they'll actually wanna stay instead of being worried whether or not you're just faking it to try and get big. If you're passionate about super controversial political topics, for instance, don't be afraid to go talk about that. If that's what you truly love and are passionate about, that's what you're gonna need to make anyways to be able to put in the amount of work you need to put in to become successful. Make what you truly want to make. Recognize what the audience wants so that you can change it, but always stay true to yourself and put in the work that is required to grow this empire that quite honestly, a lot of us always see ourselves having. But yeah guys, that's my general thoughts on kind of what kind of mentality goes into a successful streamer or a successful content creator on something like YouTube. Let me know what you guys think down below. If you think what I said was right or wrong, if you think there's some more tips I could work on, or just like your general thoughts about becoming a content creator and how you have to think. And what I also just wanna say before I go is just always remember that no matter the plights you have or the problems you think you have and the reasons you can't become a successful content creator or can't become a successful streamer, you always can. There is always a way. And if you're willing to truly believe in yourself, and put in the work and sacrifices that are required to become bigger on these platforms, you will see success, whether that be fast or slow. 
and you will eventually become the person that you've always dreamed of becoming on platforms like that. And for those out there saying that it's not always possible and that all of it comes down to luck and not anyone can become a successful content creator, watch me.